Okay, well, hello everybody. Jen in Adventuring Travel. This morning, David and I are visiting. Hi, David. Hi. This is a dear friend of mine from the north of Spain, uh, Bilbao, right? Mm -hmm. what, what, tell, tell them what, what area is around Bilbao. It's, it's sort of near Barcelona, a couple hours. Yeah, it's, uh, it's about eight hours from Barcelona. Okay, uh, to, so a little further. To the west. And how far are you from Vigo? From Vigo, uh, well, is is the distance is equal to Barcelona because Bilbao is almost in the center of the north. Halfway. You know, but, oh, okay. uh, the way is uh, because of the mountains is more difficult to come there. To go to 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 go to Vigo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, more hours. Gotcha. So you can come to visit me in Barcelona and not Vigo when I come. <laughs> <laughs> so you have had a very interesting few weeks yeah you've you've been sick with coronavirus right mm -hmm. so start at the beginning tell us how tell us how you felt how you ended up in the hospital everything okay uh, now now i'm okay don't worry <laughs> but uh, i i start this uh, this experience uh, with fever in my house and uh, a lot of symptoms uh, I started to appear. So the doctor uh, called to my dad. Uh, they give us a paper and say, he said to us, like, go to the hospital and check. And when I go there, uh, I, they start making me like, different tests about uh, my breathing, the pool, like when you. Yeah, like a breathing <laughs> test. Yeah. And uh, they make a scan of my inside and these things. And, an X-ray. Uh, yeah, and uh, at least uh, the last thing they do the coronavirus uh, test. And um, the experience was like really bad because um, uh, I start uh, with the treatment, and the treatment uh, is like really really hard. There are only three pills. But these pills make me feel so, so bad. Uh, and is, it has uh, been like a process because at the beginning, I don't understand anything. Uh, the nurses try to uh, give, encourage us to me and to my partner. And uh, it has been like a really difficult week, but uh, thanks to that, uh, I, my recovery was really fast uh, the last days. And uh, now I'm in my, I'm in my house. Uh, I have to have this mask <laughs> almost all the day to come visit uh, the common areas in my house. So uh, I'm, in, I'm in my room almost all the time. But yeah, I have like four four days only left to come finish my quarantine. Um, so you're you're how many days were you in the hospital? Eleven. Eleven days. Almost two weeks there, but yeah, there are a lot of people that, uh, for example, uh, one of my partners of my family have been there for nineteen days. And now he is in his house. So what's it like in the hospital? Is it crowded with people in the north of Spain, or is it just looks normal? Yeah, uh, in the north of Spain, specifically the Basque Country, that is my region. Mm -hmm. uh, in the top, in the li the list of coronavirus infection, and it uh, ah. have been the third one. The first one, Madrid. The second one, Barcelona. The third one was the Basque Country. So the wow. hospitals uh, here in Bilbao, we only have uh, four hospitals, like the big hospitals. And uh, here in Spain, we have like the uh, public uh, hospitals. They are not yeah. private. So uh, a lot of people go to the hospital to make the tests and 
uh, there are no enough tests for the people. So yeah. it's like a chaos here, you know? Yeah. It's a lot of people and not enough resources to can give Terrible. to all the people. Yeah. Now you said when you, when you were talking to your partner, you're talking about your roommate in the hospital. Mm -hmm. How'd your family do without, without being able to visit you or anything? Did, but, did you get to talk to them when you were yeah. in the hospital? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have my mobile phone and the charger the, the first day. So uh, I tried to speak with them. But for me, especially, it was a really weird situation because uh, just one month uh, ago, the doctor, uh, she, uh, the, the, the doctor said to my mom, to my mom, that he fa he have a, a breast cancer. Okay. And uh, they have to make like an emergency surgery. Mm, okay. So at the same time that I'm on the hospital, my dad and my mom have to come to the same hospital to make the surgery. And it was like a chaos, but uh, all the things go really fine. My mom now is in my house. And oh. the next day, uh, uh, my mom uh, go away of the hospital. I come home too, so. <laughs> oh, so it was a yeah. happy, happy time for everybody to yeah, come home. Yeah, How yeah, is your mom yeah. now? Is she feeling better and healing? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, good. Um, for uh, three days, in three days, uh, the doctor is going to call to say what's going to be the treatment to treat the cancer, oh. but it's a really it's a really good uh, diagnostic yeah di yeah good outcome expected yeah yeah good so, good good um, we are we are we have peace and god is being so faithful so yeah like both ways <laughs> yeah yeah now tell them about your tell them about your roommate in the hospital when your parents were worried about you <laughs> what, what, what? tell them about your roommate your partner in the hospital yeah tell when your parents were worried about you being alone Oh yeah, <laughs> I say to my parents uh, a really funny thing because the name of my partner was uh, Josu, that is a uh, Basque name, and the in the translation of this name is Jesus. So I say to my to my parents, don't worry, Jesus is with me here in the hospital, <laughs> <laughs> like literally right next to you in the hospital. Oh, yeah. yeah, was there only two in a room? Yeah, yeah, well, that's good. The the bad thing of, of where I am in the hospital is that uh, we're we only two in the room, but the bathroom were for my room and the another room. Okay. So four person with coronavirus with one bathroom. <laughs> wow! Wow! Yeah, and it's I I, I can't imagine. I mean, I, I can't imagine just the whole situation that we're in every day but then on top of it getting coronavirus going to the hospital not knowing you know you said in the beginning you didn't really know what was going on because was because you were sick so sick or yeah yeah, yeah the the first symptoms were like uh normally one one per year i i i have these symptoms you know like fever yeah maybe flu. i feel with with a bad bone, it's a normal thing. But uh, when I, I, I start to feel worried when uh, I try to breathe and I have problems for mm. like this. And I say to my mom, like, I feel like years ago when I have a pneumonia, I don't know who to see this in English. Yep, same, yep. Pneumonia, okay. Yep. So I don't know, I feel, I feel bad, you know, and uh, some days uh, later, the doctor say like, okay, take this paper and go to the hospital. <laughs> and it's like, yeah. uh, it's yeah, difficult. I... It's a difficult situation, but yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad you're feeling better. We talked with Nacho yesterday and he, he's mm -hmm. doing better, but his was the same. He said it scared him when, when he couldn't breathe. That was really the, 
you know, the turning point that they ended up going to the hospital with him as well. But I am so glad that you two are on the mend and I'm glad you, you live with your mom, your dad and your sister, right? Yeah. yeah and yeah. all three are fine. No, no coronavirus, no symptoms. Yeah, that's nothing, great. Nothing, nothing. That's great. Keep wearing your mask. Don't touch anything. <laughs> no. yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm in my house all the time like, like this. Yeah. And with gloves. Yeah, okay, so that, yeah. You see, you know, like, uh, now. Yeah, um, I'm not sure. You know, his whole family has it now. So he's, he pins self separate, but it's so hard with all the kids. They're, they want to yeah. be with daddy, you know. <laughs> yes. Well, David, I'm so glad we had a chance to talk today. It's great to see you. And I, I was telling you that I'm, I, it's because of you that I know how to use this daddy. <laughs> I have it on the same exact settings you put it on for me when we were playing in Spain all those weeks and um, and I have to come back soon because I need my next set of lessons so you have to teach me more oh, I hope, <laughs> well I say hope hello so to you your family me. yeah me too me too say hello to your family <laughs> for me and it's great to visit and keep us posted I'll keep checking in to make sure that you are well okay mm -hmm. yeah Good to see you, David.